This game is tea and is not suitable for kids. <laughs> Don't let your kids watch it! Hey there, honey! It's time to spin! It's Soul Calibur 2. <laughs> really? Alright. I guess we're playing Soul Calibur 2. I can't believe it didn't get any of the ones people added in. That's pretty unlucky. Sorry, folks. I don't think I've ever actually seen the opening move, uh, cutscene for this. So you know what? This will be something new for all of us. This game apparently has a story, but I've never paid any attention to it. Some costumes are not fit for kids of all ages. I wonder how long the opening movie will be. That way, to the jail cell, I'll break you out. I don't know who he's trying to break out. Oh, look, it's the Hulk! Oh, yes! Best characters, Astaroth and Moxie. I'm oh, sorry, Maxie. Wait, um, you definitely don't have a move like that. <laughs> you can tell this is definitely a GameCube era cutscene. Yes! Of her best character. That's a pretty solid GameCube opening right there. Great job. Soul Calibur 2. Alright, so we could just play arcade mode, but no, we're doing Weapon Master mode since that is the story mode of the game. Enter your name. Oh, I should. Arthur. Register as Arthur? Yes, Keen Arthur! Chosen by history, a man becomes a warrior. Do you want to wield a sword with an eyeball on it? Countless legends surround a sword known as the Soul Edge. Some claim it to be the ultimate weapon. Others refer to it as the Sword of Heroes, a phantom sword of immeasurable power of the spirits. I cannot read that much that fast. Okay, so Soul Edge and Soul Calibur are two special swords that battle each other. The Soul Edge was the ultimate prize. Ah, uh, the Soul Calibur is generally better, actually. The story is about to unfold is one such warrior. I want. Gee, I wonder which character we should pick. Hmm. We can also swap characters partway through. This is your tale of soul and swords. 
In the Weapon Master mode, press start to open the command menu. Various controls such as the character and weapon changes uh, can be performed in the command menu. It's possible to change the selected character in Weapon Master mode. The character you choose is up to you. Select a character that is most appropriate for the mission to ease your quest. Or, for an additional challenge, select a character that is least favorable for the mission. One of the challenges in Weapon Master mode is collecting the bounty of different weapons. In Weapon Master mode, you may use any of the weapons in your possession. Moreover, you can use the weapons you collected in the extra modes. There are numerous secret features in Weapon Master mode, but it's up to you to find them. Good luck. Cool. Thanks. Okay, we have as our characters Raphael, uh, Talum, Cassandra, Yunsun, Mitsuugi, Taki, uh, Valdo, Nightmare, Keelik, Shanhua, Moxie, Astroff, Ivy, Link, and Nikrid. We're obviously playing as Link. Duh. <laughs> Not only is Link my favorite, he also has a very big cheese strategy for beating the fights. Chapter 1, Regulus Proving Grounds. You stood before the entrance of the Proving Grounds in the land of Regulus, famous for its skilled swordsmen. You predicted that your journey would to find the legendary ultimate sword, Soul Edge, would likely be a difficult one. Therefore, you traveled to Regulus in order to polish your fighting skills before setting off on your quest. After passing through the gate, you found a man standing before you, blocking your path. Halt, you who seek the mastery of the way of the warrior. We have no interest in those who lack potential. First, you must prove your worth. It seemed you had to fight this man to prove your strength and determination. Seeing you take a hold of your weapon without a moment's hesitation, the man grinned and said, Well, looks like we've got a lively one here. Good, I think this one's got some promise. Link's looking for the ultimate weapon, even though he has the Master Sword. Here we go, first mission. Proving grounds. Clear all the exercises. One out of five difficulty. I sense your determination. I'm impressed. After a few bouts, the man said this to you and patted your shoulder lightly. You've been accepted into the regular proving grounds. Versus Mitsurugi. <laughs> all right, Arthur versus Mitsurugi. <laughs> With the really cheesy narrator. All right, I'll just tell you this. This is a very complicated fighting game with like huge amounts of moves. I absolutely do not know how to do all of them, but this is the tutorial. Press A to perform a horizontal attack. Try hitting me with it. Okay. Fight. Perfect. Horizontal attacks are useful against circling enemies. Learn them well. Press B to perform a vertical attack. Now try attacking me with it. See if you can hit me. That is not... You mean why? He said B, but it was actually Y. A vertical attack is good for countering your opponent's horizontal attack. Okay. Press K, you mean uh, X, to kick. Fight. Most kicks are quick attacks. They are good for catching your opponent off guard. Press G, that's actually B, to guard against your opponent's attacks. I'm going to attack you now. Let's see you guard. You can't win battles if you can't defend against attacks. It's not flashy, but it's critical to master. You can run down. Uh, you can run by holding the control pad. You can move around freely once you get used to it. Try running around. By running around, you can adjust the distance to your opponents as well as dodge attacks. Uh, a, G, or B, G to throw the opponent. That's A and B or Y and B. And don't forget, it only works in close range, though. Link's grab throw is can cheese a lot of fights. It's always a good idea to try throwing your opponent whenever you are close. Next up is the guard impact. This one's a bit tricky. First, I'll show you how it's done. Okay, give me your best shot. You can repel or parry the opponent's attacks by pressing the block button with the right or left on the D-pad at the right time. Oh, you mean the control stick? Now it's my turn to attack. Show me you can pull off the guard impact. There we go. If you successfully guard impact an attack, you'll have a significant advantage. Last lesson is the soul charge. You can gather your strength by pressing A, B, and K. So everything except the guard button. Soul Charge increases the strength of your attacks. I'm a big fan of it myself. Show me how you can use it. Here's a little subject for the recognition. New feature has been unlocked. And we got the tutorial done. Congratulations! Extra practice mode has been added. I like unlocking stuff. Makes me feel good. Congratulations! A road to a new stage bulwark ruins has appeared. Do we actually get to kill people now? <laughs> Alright, utilize all you've learned to defeat the enemies. Having completed your basic training, you travel to Edgar, to the advanced proving grounds of the Bulwark Ruins. After a half a day's walk, you arrived at a crumbling rampart. The defensive wall was created during a war here in Regulus. At, say, the su at that same time, this proving ground was built to train the soldiers. Our predecessors claimed victory using the skills they honed in this place. Today, we train here with diligence that honor that history. 
Edgar stopped walking and gazed up at the wall. Or Edgar, speaking to no one in particular, but pathetically, there are many who cannot handle the training and leave satisfied with their half-learned skills, only to lead lives as bandits and thieves. You look as it looks like they've come out to welcome us. You too were aware of three figures that watched you from a distance. Grinning, Edgar turned to you and said, It's been a while since you've had a chance to just go wild and show off what you got. With your training, these guys shouldn't pose any a threat to you. We'll just call this part of the training. Cool, we get to fill, kill three people. So apparently, Keelik is one of the uh, brigands who abandoned his training. Alright, here we go. Alright, so here's how... If you play as Link, and you're up against CPUs, here is how you win. Okay, not that. Bring them to the edge. Like so. There. And then grab. <laughs> Throw him off a cliff! <laughs> there you go, instant win. Hey, Wiggins! Welcome. Yeah, we are playing Soul Calibur uh, for Game Roulette. Weapon Master mode. I'm also very, very bad at this game. So I'm just using the Link uh, Fro Cheese strats. I'm gonna pretend that didn't happen! <laughs> I uh, accidentally tilted up, and apparently Link was like, I'll jump off the cliff! Let's try that one again. I, we got paid to jump off a cliff. The Almighty Ones of Battle One Fight. Okay. Keelik. Oh no. He's trying to he's trying to reverse my trick. Can't let that happen! <laughs> Ring out! You win! <laughs> you win! <laughs> Alright, Sean Hua, last time was a fluke. I'm not making the same mistake again. Bye bye! Oh no! This is bye bye. Shooter! <laughs> you can't do this on every course, because not every course has bottomless pits. <laughs> it's Prince Ali! A.K.A. Moxie, the best character in the game. Not in terms of the tier lists, but in terms of who's number one in my heart. Bye! <laughs> Mission succeeded! You were super cheap! <laughs> yeah, that's how you do it. Congratulations! The road to a new stage, Warriors Trial Grounds appeared. Where is Trial Grounds? After much rigorous training at the Regulus Proving Grounds, it was time for your final challenge. If you succeeded in passing this test, you would be recognized as a full-fledged warrior. This test consisted of combat between the disciples themselves. There were no restrictions and no special conditions. Only those who made good use of what they learned or in a rose victorious would pass the test. It would be a test of all of your training. Attempting to control the arena a rapidly beating heart, you stepped into the arena. Your opponent was already waiting for you. I've been watching your progress for quite some time. You're a worthy opponent for my final test. Saying this, your opponent readied his weapon. I'll be fighting with everything I've got. I'll expect no less from you. Alright, if there's a bottomless pit, you're going... You're gonna die. Oh, it's... It's, uh... uh Raphael! Oh, yes! Let's send this guy to Davy Jones' locker! <laughs> Davy Jones! New feature's been unlocked! <laughs> Again, Link's fro is the only one that kind of does that 90 degree turn before you fro, so that's the only one it really works on. <laughs> oh, the Lakeside Coliseum's been added as a new course. Cool. I'll keep that in mind in case anyone ever does multiplayer in this game with me. On roughly equal skill levels. Road to a new area, Thuban has appeared. And this begins Chapter 2. The journey begins. Chapter 1 was all the tutorial. You're in the search for the Soul Edge. You should head east. Past the land of Thubin lies the free city of Benetschnachsk, with its never-ending flow of people. Perhaps you can gather information there. Following Edgar's advice... Who the heck is Edgar? You set off towards the east. You did not know you would really find information about the Soul Edge in Betanasht or not, but it was better than just wandering aimlessly. You turn to look back just once. You win this time, said Leon after the battle, but I'll catch up with you soon. Tomorrow I'm going to take the test again. Oh, and I've heard you're searching for the Soul Edge. If that's the case, then we'll surely meet again. It seems we're rivals with the same goal. I'm looking forward to our next encounter. You faced forward again and began to walk. Your journey had begun. 
Thuban Fairy. We had 20 hits on the enemy and survived the round. Okay, we can't do our cheese strategy this time. You found the path blocked by the Great Thuban River. Following the river in search of a place to cross, you soon came upon a ferry boat crossing. You immediately headed for the pier, but it appeared that there had, it had been abandoned for some time and there was no one else around. Fortunately, there was still a boat remaining, but as you prepared to launch it into the water, a human figure appeared before you. He claimed ownership of the boat and demanded that you give him all the money you had in exchange for the right to cross. He was obviously a bandit, preying on travelers in the area. You sighed and drew your weapon. If you hit him a few times, odds are he'd just give up and run away. Alright, now we actually have to do, like, real moves. It's Valdo! This guy's weird. your noble soul in your sword. I love the narrator. Alright. Man, he's got the moves. Time's up. Time's up? That's not much time to get that many hits in. Granted, Link is not the best character to be using this for, I'm sure. This would probably go a lot better if I was someone like, uh, Keelik. Oh, now he's a mummy. That's cool. conspired to arrange their battle. <laughs> there we go. Give up, Valdo? <laughs> Ooh, I'm level two. I'm an iron neophyte now. Is that really better? <laughs> but I guess so. Cool. Congratulations, Road to a New Stage. Village of Archie has appeared. Oh boy, Archie! <laughs> After crossing the Thuban River and heading east, you came upon a small village. Judging from the fishing nets hanging dry in the sun, this was a fisherman's village. A commotion in the village square piqued your interest, so you headed over to take a look. There you found the young people of the village engaged in a test of strength. They fought one-on-one -on, -one on a wooden scaffold. A champion eventually emerged, but just when you fought the hollow would subside, the crowd's excitement grew. You looked around to find the source of the commotion, only to realize that you were the cause. The villagers had learned that you were from Regulus. They pushed you up onto the scaffolding without giving you a chance to speak. You found yourself facing the young champion. You didn't notice that you were down on the when you were down on the ground, but up on the scaffolding, the wind was strong. It threatened to blow you off the platform at any given moment. Strong gusts constantly push you and prevent you from st uh, stopping at the edge of the stage. Defeat the enemy under this condition. Sounds like it'll be easier to throw them. Versus Yun Sung. All right, young son. All right, so we gotta throw a little earlier than usual. Oh, that's bad! Wow, yikes! Probably should have been guarding there. I love how we get experience and gold for getting our butt kicked. Even failures deserve payment. All right, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, wrecked! <laughs> That's the thing. There are so many moves for each of the characters in Soul Calibur. I have no idea how to use most of them. I literally just push buttons and hope for the best. <laughs> You're not wrong, Proxima. I'm more concerned that we're getting paid to die in this. All right, Minker Mine. Having defeated the hero of the village, you expected to be torn apart by the crowd, but instead they seemed genuinely impressed. Even the young man you defeat and pra uh, praised your regular trained fighting skills. You quickly made friends with the straightforward, honest villagers, but it seemed they had a problem. The mine upstream was poisoning the river and killing the fish. They were planning to send people to speak with the miners, but the miners were a violent group. And the river people had no choice but to prepare for the possibility of a fight. Having come to like these people, you soon found yourself agreeing to help them. As expected, the negotiations did not go well. The miners immobilized the villagers with poison and forced them out of their mines. Due to the poison, however, they couldn't even make it back to the village. Fortunately, it seemed you had not drunk very much of the poison. You infiltrated the inside of the mine. You needed to get the antidote to save the village, e even if it had to take it by force. Navigate through the enemy-invested dungeon. I like the dungeons in this. All right, let's go to a new room. What's in here? The Almighty Ones have granted you a sword to cut your own path. Is that Taki? Taki, you're one of the miners? I'm through with words. 
Final battle. Fight. Oh, you guys already know how this is gonna go. Okay, maybe you don't. <laughs> Mission failed. No experience, but you get paid. Dane was not expecting her to be that aggressive. Thankfully, if we lose, we don't have to do the whole dungeon again. Just the last room. The fight. A hero requires a sword. Yikes! All right, Taki. Oh, snap that butt! No! Oh! She dodged out of the way of my my store sword stab. I am really bad at this. Wow. <laughs> Honestly, it's probably more entertaining to watch someone who's really bad at Soul Calibur 2 play Soul Calibur 2 than someone who's really good at it. <laughs> there we go. Die! Oh no, she survived! Now you won't live for this! Davy Jones Locker! Oh, and that water's poison, too. This does not look like a mine, by the way. Alright, next room. Fate conspired to arrange their battle. Oh, hey, it's Moxie in his different outfit. <laughs> yeah! Battle, fight. Link's like, you guys are gonna feel the pain of the water temple. Actually, it looks like we're legit fighting in the water temple. <laughs> Wrong, wrong fro, buddy. There we go. <laughs> we didn't have to throw him off this time. Good job, Link. Oh, we're on the boss now. Versus Yoshimitsu. <laughs> Yoshimitsu, oh yeah. In your sword. Is he the leader of the miners? This guy looks like Scarecrow from uh, the Batman comics. <laughs> oh my gosh, he has like a Cheshire cat insignia on him. Oh my gosh. He's an active boy. Wrong grab, Link. Goodbye! <laughs> New feature has been unlocked! Yes! Excellent. Congratulations! Yoshimitsu is now selectable as a character. Yoshimitsu! Yeah! Congratulations! A road to a new area! Bethanisk has appeared. I have no idea how to pronounce that. Um, let's visit the shop. Let's buy some new weapons for uh, Link, shall we? Oh, the Armo series. Yes, please. Now we can uh, wield Armos weapons instead of the Master Sword, if we so choose. Might as well purchase the Battle Theater, I guess. Purchase Battle Theater. Watch computer-controlled characters fight. Yeah, because that's, that's something you want to do. All right, let's see if we can progress in Chapter 3, and then we'll call it a night. Restless Benetan Benetnash. The chapter three, their boss defeated in front of their eyes, the miners looked as though they would attack at any moment. But Sherat stopped stepped forward and silenced them. You idiots! Just how much more do you plan to embarrass me today? He promised to provide an antidote to the fishermen and agreed to discuss the situation. Your mission to mediate their dispute was a complete success. The rest was up to them. It seems Sherat took quite a liking to you. Even as you hurried to leave, he practically dragged you back and insisted that you and the people of the fishermen's village join with him in a feast. The next morning, you bid farewell to everyone and head out east. Although the opposite side of the mine, after or through the opposite uh, side of the mine, after traveling for some time, you eventually caught sight of Benetanash in the distance, and you feel the change in the atmosphere. The performers and tra uh, travelers on the road increased in number, and you could hear the voices of the peddlers above the noise of the crowd. It was clear that Benetanash was a thriving and bustling city. Cool. So, uh, weapon select. So, the master sword. 
Link's the most familiar in Battle Sword. The armor series offense increases with uh, Soul Calibur, but it lacks defense. Nah, I'll keep the Master Sword. Let's go to the Carnival. You cannot hold your footing at the edge of the stage. Defeat the enemy to bring out. Oh, that sounds great. You've been surrounded by the crowds ever since entering this city. And li listening to the conversations around you, you learned that today was the day of the monthly Carnival. You decided that it would be best to just relax and enjoy the festivities. After a little while, you heard excited shouts from up ahead. Stopping to take a look, you saw a lone puppeteer crying out in frustration. A crowd of people had gathered to watch the out-of-control mechanical puppets. With the huge crowd in the way, you couldn't even pass through the area. Seeing no other choice, you stepped forward to put an end to the rampaging puppets. The noise of the crowd increased as people began to place bets. Wait, please! Those are custom-made puppets I ordered all the way from Shadar! Please don't wreck them! The puppeteer pleaded with you desperately. You sighed and thought up a plan. It looked like the fastest method would be to knock them out of the ring. They know me! They know me. They know I like throwing things out. Oh, it's Charade! You cannot hold your footing at the edge of the stage. Hi, Charade. So Charade is a character who can just mimic the other characters. No! I was guarding, though. I let the guard down for, like, a frame to try and grab, and that was exactly when he stretched. Versus Charade. A hero. Final battle. Fight! Dunk on you, Charade! Stupid Moxie Charade. At least I'm getting more money this way. Versus Charade. Let's go. Oh no, he's Nightmare this time. This is bad because he has a lot of reach. Darn it! Oh! Yeah, he had, he had way too much reach for me. I couldn't get him close enough to the edge. Again, Charade mimics a random character every time he fights. Okay, Mitsurugi. What? Oh, he fell off first! <laughs> what an idiot! Now I'm a silver neophyte. Congratulations, Charade is now a selectable character. Cool, he sucks. Oh, a road to a new stage, the Tower of the Gambling Den, and to uh, this one. Diapha... Di... Difda Temple. Throws are more effective. Defeat the enemy, traveling through the foothills on the path to the temple atop the mountain overlooking Bitnash. You stop to take a rest at a tavern along the way. Tavern at the entrance to a temple that's just like this city. You fought to yourself as you opened the door. Upon seeing the inside, you gave a wry smile. I can't see Link doing that. It seemed that the temple itself was running the bar. Acolyte priests scurried back and forth, serving the loud, rambunctious customers. You sat down at a small table and tried to relax, but a fight began brewing right beside you. A man carrying an enormous amount of luggage was surrounded by a group of drink of drunks. You'd planned to avoid trouble, but then the leader kicked your table out from under you. It wasn't your style to just keep quiet after such treatment. You drew your weapon and dragged him outside. This man with the luggage took advantage of the chance and quickly disappeared. Your opponent, perhaps cowed by your aggressiveness, held back and maintained a defensive posture. This called for an extensive use of throws. Cool, this is what Link has been training for all this time. Oh, it's Raphael again! A hero desires a sword, and a sword desires truth. Hey, I know that song. Bye bye. <laughs> what? Come on. <laughs> Loser. <laughs> Granted, I've done the same thing multiple times this stream, but it's funny to see the computer do it. Oh boy, the road to a new area. But that's a different chapter, isn't it? Uh, let's go to the gambling den. Oh, I didn't read any of the story for that one. Did he just say boo? Oh, it's Leon again. Okay, you receive heavy damage when knocked against the ground or the wall. Okay.
Oh no. Like my boomerang. This is a tough fight. <sighs> yes! Time's up, he loses because he has less health. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Good job, Link. I knew you had it in you. Okay, let's see, actually get the plot of that. We were standing before a small arena, and uh, there were smiling women and frustrated, tearful men. They were holding gambling battles. You weren't in need of funds, but Leon approached us again. Ah, uh, and you were nostalgic for Chapter 1, which happened 20 minutes ago. Oh, it's been a while. Let's have a duel. Oh, that, so that's it. Oh, yes! But Nash Harbor! I love this course. The enemy's weapons have poison. You will go numb if you are damaged. Okay. The port of Betanash was a very busy place in the evening. The city's commerce was built around the port as the ships arriving and leaving carried the goods for trade. Shops crowded the streets and the bars were full of ships, crews, and those who would do business with them. Having spent the day wandering around the port, you too headed for an inn for a hot meal and a room for the night. You awoke in the night shivering from the cold. Your head throbbed and there was a large bump on the back of your head. You quickly surveyed your surroundings and it was clear that you were no longer in the room at the inn. It appeared to be the inside of a ship. You'd been sold away as a slave. It seemed your food had been drugged. The inn must have had a business agreement with some of the ships. Your weapon had, of course, been taken away. It wasn't like you had let your guard down like that. Now you had to find a way to get off the ship before it set sail. Fortunately, thanks to your training at Regulus, you were still a threat even without a weapon. After ramming down the door with your shoulder, you recover your weapon from the crew and ran for the pier. Unfortunately, they weren't going to let you get away that easily. Versus Maxi. Huh? Alright, Moxie. It's our final battle. And a he has poison nunchucks. Fight. Nunchucks, by the way, are one of the coolest weapons in existence. Bye bye! Off to Davy Jones! <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a bit cheap. Oh, but that's not the only battle. Hey, lady who's wearing way too provocative of an outfit. I hate Ivy. Ivy is such a pain to go against. Because she can combo you something awful. No! You were supposed to kick her off, you moron! At least we got money for killing Moxie. Ivy's probably my least favorite character to go against. Because when I use Ivy, she's awful. But when the computer uses the Ivy, they can just use these crazy whip attacks that like hit you anywhere. You win. Yeah, we gotta deal with four of these characters. So Ivy is second. Yeah, like, look at that. Come on, throw her off. Yes! <laughs> Goodbye, Ivy. Okay, the rest shouldn't be nearly as bad. Hi, Valdo. Valdo can also be a bit tricky with his weird movement. Uh oh. Oh! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Alright, last guy. It's Cervantes. Speaking of Davy Jones. Oh, hi there, buddy. Off to Davy Jones with you, too! <laughs> New features been unlocked! We're a Platinum Neophyte now! Oh, that's amazing. Class up! And Cervantes is now a playable character. Man, we're unlocking most of the characters. This is great. I think we only have, like, three left. Or no, four left. Congratulations, Road to a New Area has appeared. Yeah, that, yeah it's, that's fantastic. But before we do that, can we buy more stuff at the shop? Particularly for Link. 
Yes, the Megaton Hammer! We're definitely purchasing that. <laughs> That's a new weapon. That's a fun one. And the Cane of Burnia! Good job, Link. We got him. We should save our money until uh, next time. There we go. I actually think that we're now at the same place I was in my casual playthrough of Weapon Master Mode. So there we go!